Hey guys, welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. So we are making pizza casserole first. So I'm just going to go ahead and chop up some onions, peppers, and some mushrooms to put into our casserole. Next, I'm going to saute those vegetables in my electric skillet here with a couple tablespoons of butter. You can see in my skillet that I already used it. Um, I had just browned up some Italian sausage before that I had forgot to film, but now we're just going to go ahead and saute the vegetables. Once those vegetables are softened to our liking, I'm just going to add this to a big pot and then I'm going to put some black olives pizza sauce and then I had some um, lasagna noodles in my pantry that I wanted to use. So I went ahead and broke those up and boiled those and then I'm going to add those as well as the Italian sausage and just mix this all together. Oh, I guess I added some bacon bits too. So there's that um, and some pepperoni. <laughs> This was just like basically like a huge supreme pizza. Um, that's definitely my favorite pizza. And you can put whatever you want in it. I mean, if you don't like these toppings, then put something else. But I'm basically just going to mix everything together, add it to a casserole dish, add a little bit of Parmesan cheese and some mozzarella cheese, and bake this in the oven until it is warmed back through. I think I did about 30 minutes on 400, and this turned out amazing. The key ingredient is definitely using pizza sauce. Don't use marinara, use pizza sauce. And we really do love the great value. I have not tried the Rayos um, just because the great value is just fine. I'm sure that I will eventually, but um, if you're trying to make it on a budget, then the great value pizza sauce is really good as well. go along with our casserole I wanted to make some cheesy bread so I just had some garlic Texas toast in the freezer that I used and I'm just going to put a couple different cheeses on top of the garlic bread to make it cheesy bread and this turned out really really good as well. So here's what it looks like when it came out. This was definitely the star of the week. If you have never made this before, I highly recommend. It is definitely really, really good. And then of course we just paired this with the um, garlic toast and I had some fruit on the side and this was amazing. So next we're getting started on some meatloaf. I've been seeing this recipe all over Pinterest and I really wanted to try it. So it's just a pound of ground beef with two eggs a half a cup of water i believe um a half a cup of ketchup and a box of stuffing so 
this turned out to be really really good um it had a lot of flavor and it was super simple to put together i will leave the actual recipe link down below for you but if you're needing an easy and budget friendly meatloaf recipe then i highly recommend trying this one So here I am just taking the meatloaf out of the oven after 45 minutes and just checking to see where it's at. I love using my meat thermometer for this. It's the best way to find out where your meat's at. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite kitchen tools. And it was almost the temperature, but not quite yet. So I'm going to go ahead and add the ketchup. And we do like uh, barbecue sauce on our meatloaf as well. So I like adding that too. And I'm just going to put this back in the oven for about 15 minutes. To go along with this, I made a box of au gratin potatoes. I'm also just heating up a bag of frozen broccoli. So here's what our plates look like when it was all done. We had those potatoes, broccoli, meatloaf, and crescent rolls, and this meal was delicious. So this next night is a more complicated, this is actually our Sunday dinner. So I am making um, just ham in the crock pot. So I've got a couple of ham steaks here. You can just get these at Walmart. They're the Sam's Choice brand. I'm just adding some brown sugar to each slice, and then you'll see me um, put pineapple on it as well, and I'm just layering this in the crock pot. Basically just going to cook this on low until it is heated through. It doesn't take a whole long time, but the longer that you cook it, the better flavor it is, obviously. So I just chose to cook mine all day.
to go along with our ham, I'm just making some mashed potatoes. So I'm just peeling and chopping some potatoes. I am also making my famous mac and cheese, so I'm just boiling some water, adding some salt, and then I'm going to add some Elba macaroni. I am also making some green bean casserole, so I'm just opening a couple cans of the French style green beans. I'm going to throw those in that pot back there with the juices, and then um, I'm going to add some beef bouillon. This is my favorite way to make green beans. It comes out with a really good flavor. You don't have to add any salt, butter, anything. It's literally just the bouillon, and it turns out really good each time. So this night, I was really missing Thanksgiving, and I was like, you know what? You don't have to wait until Thanksgiving to make Thanksgiving dinner. So I decided to do it for a Sunday dinner, and it was amazing, and it really hit the spot. So now that the macaroni noodles are done we're gonna go ahead and make the mac and cheese so i've got some butter here i'm gonna go ahead and add some seasoning this is just my seasoning blend it's the garlic onion salt and pepper um and then i'm gonna add some heavy cream some sharp cheese and then Velveeta. let that melt down and then add my noodles back and that is the mac and cheese I will, of course, type out the detailed instructions down below for you. I don't follow a recipe. I kind of just came up with this on my own. So this is just my own recipe that I use for mac and cheese. Um, but it is super simple and you can do it on the stovetop. You don't have to bake it or anything. So if you've not tried it this way, I highly recommend trying it. It is super simple. We're going to go ahead and get started assembling our green bean casserole so i've got a can of cream of mushroom here i'm going to add a little bit of milk to that mix that all together with our green beans add some french fried onions just a handful to mix in and then we will add the green beans to that casserole dish and then top it with the french fried onions and we'll bake it in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes
everything is quickly coming together so i'm going to go ahead and do my potatoes so i just boiled those until they were done i'm using my little potato masher i'm going to add a stick of butter some cream cheese that i melted in the microwave with the butter that's kind of the key here is to just make sure that everything is the same temperature um, and then i'm going to add a little bit of heavy cream until it's to the consistency that i want and um, see taste it and for seasoning and then i do end up adding just a little bit of salt Okay, so here's what it looks like when it all came together. This was delicious. It was definitely a really good meal. So hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.